Welcome to Tuesday Night Live. This is Betty Sakosha. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and the team leader for the Power of Positive Inking. Thanks for joining me. Um, it's Tuesday night, May the 9th? 10th? Not sure. Um, somewhere around there. And um, I have a set that's new to the catalog. Um, but some of you may have purchased it previously. So let me just, let me just get started. I'm going to pop you down, um, show you what we're making tonight and talk to you a little bit more about it. Okay, here we go. Flippy flip. Hello. Okay. All right. So this is, hello Jody. Um, so this is the stamp set that I'm talking about. Actually, this is the bundle that I'm talking about. It's called the Waves of Inspiration. And it includes this stamp set, this beautiful stamp set here, along with these dies. The reason I say that it is something you may have previously gotten is because earlier, um, a couple of months ago, you were able to purchase, purchase this kind of as a pre-purchase. And in addition to getting the bundle, which is the stamp set and the dies, you also um, were able to get some specialty paper, some specialty foil paper, and some specialty rhinestones. So while those things were a limited time and are not available, um, these things are still available. And I have been having a ball with the stamp set. Um, I did a class with an individual the other day with this and decided I really love the set. And so I've been playing with it um, a little bit more. So I thought I would share some ideas with you if you um, either already own it or are interested in getting it. Um, even if you don't have the um, specialty paper that it originally came with. So let me tell you, this is the stamp set here. And it's got um, four greetings, a seagull, a pelican, and a wave. And while that seems like maybe not a huge stamp set, there's so many things you can do with it. And it's probably because it is accompanied by this set of beauties here. Um, so these are two waves um, two clouds that you can cut out, two clouds that can accentuate, um, two different shaped seagulls, your pelican cut out, and then two um, like labels that fit um, the, the sayings, you're, to you're so totally awesome, your strength is an inspiration fit on the larger one, and happy birthday fits on the smaller one. So let me show you what these look like in real life. So these are what the um, cutouts look like. So these two can work together on top um, and on top of this and they kind of they're offset a little bit and they're gorgeous I'll show you some at the end these are the two different uh, shaped seagulls I assume they're seagulls some kind of seabird uh, these are the labels that I talked about and then these here are the cutouts of the clouds along with that additional these little guys here make this kind of funny thing here but it kind of makes it look like a puffy cloud which is nice and then the pelican so I'm going to get busy and show you a card that I came up with today and then show you some alternatives on this. Now this, to be, to be um, fully disclosed, full disclosure, this is an inspiration from, um, that I found online from someone named Lisa Marie Smith, I believe is her name. Um, and that's where I got the idea for it. So then I altered it a little bit just to kind of suit my needs. So I'm going to bring this down just a smidgy smidge and put this aside for now. Okay, so we have done two-step double time stamping, not two-step. Two-step is something different. Um, double time stamping before. Um, and that's basically, or sometimes you'll see triple time stamping, where you layer um, different layers of cardstock on top of each other and stamp it once. And then it kind of, well, you'll see. You'll see what it looks like. So tonight I'm not doing three layers. I'm just doing two layers. And the measurements for this are five inches by three and three quarters and three and a half by two and a half. So what I'm going to do is to take my stamp and seal. If you have um, 
uh, any kind of adhesive that you have that's not a super strong permanent adhesive will work for this. So Stampin' Seal is the the lesser of the two uh, strengths of our adhesives that are out there now. So I just put a tiny bit, you can see a tiny bit on there. And now I'm going to take my um, shirt <laughs> and I'm going to push my um, adhesive right onto it because basically I don't want this to stick permanently, but I need it to stick for now. So I probably should have prefaced this by saying if you do have a temporary adhesive, that would work fantastic. But if you don't, feel free to use your sweater and that works probably just as well. Okay, so now I've arranged these in a way that I feel is, well, pretty close, pretty close to where it belongs. Um, I'm trying to center the smaller piece of cardstock on the larger piece of cardstock, and that looks pretty good to me. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stress about that. Okay, for this, I am bringing in my stamparatus, but that is not necessary for this. If you you can do the same exact thing if you don't own a stamparatus, uh, this just gives you the ability to go back and and kind of alter it if you need to. But if you don't have a stamparatus, don't let that stop you from trying this technique. All right, so I've arranged my, my wave on my Stamparatus, and I have um, figured out where I need my wave, where I need my paper to go. So I'm going to put this on here. Hello, Jackie. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, so I'm going to put my magnets right at the top, and um, that's going to work perfectly that my wave will go across the whole page here. So I'm happy with that. Okay, now, to ink up my wave, I'm going to take my stamp set and just place it underneath uh, my, my stamp case because that's going to make this easier to ink up. And the colors that I'm going to use for this are Pacific Point and Tahitian Tide. So Tahitian Tide is one of the new, um, brand new, hot off the press um, Stampin' Up! colors. And then Pacific Point has been around for quite a while. Pacific Point is not a color that I use often. It's not one of my favorites, to be honest, but it worked perfect for this. So let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to start with our lighter color, which is the Tahitian Tide. And I'm going to ink up my wave using the ink, using the ink pad, the sort of the opposite side of the ink pad there. Oh my goodness. I forgot that I needed this. Okay, I forgot that I needed a um, sponge dauber. So sponge daubers come in package of five. I think they were like five bucks for five, something along those lines, maybe 10 bucks for five. I actually should have looked that up. I'm not sure, but they're not very expensive and you can continually use them. I have a drawer with many different ones. Um, once you're done using it, you can actually just kind of rinse, rinse it under the sink and then I actually put mine in the dishwasher. So when it comes out, it will look stained. See how that one's kind of stained? But have no fear because you can use it again on a light color. It's not really a problem. Okay, so now I'm using the Pacific Point, which is the darker of the two blues that I'm using. The first one was Tahitian Tide. This one is um, Pacific Point. And I'm just gonna kind of daub on some random spots on my wave to kind of give it some extra dimension. So I'm just kind of throwing them anywhere on my wave. You can see it's kind of a mess, but have no fear. Okay, now I'm going to push this and I'm really gonna focus. I should probably, let me zoom in just a smidge so I can show you. See this right here, this is where that, um, where the paper lines up, I really want to really push this down there to get as close to that border as possible. All right. Okay, let me unzoom you. There we go. And la! So you can see a little bit of the darker color in here as well as the Tahitian Tide. Now, if I want to go back and add more, and maybe I do because I really want you to be able to see it, I'm just going to dab. I'm not going to I'm not going to um, actually add any more of the Tahitian Tide. I'm just adding the Pacific Point. Remember the color that I literally just told you I don't really like? <laughs> That's the color I'm adding. Um, but I've added some more in here, so you can see this is a mess. And this is the beauty of using a Stamparatus. If you didn't use a Stamparatus, you're basically going to stamp this once. And it is what it is. But if you have a Stamparatus, you're able to do this and you can add some more color. So that's what I'm doing here. And now I think you can see a little bit more of that color in there. And I'm going to do just a smidge more. Because I like how that came out and I liked to have the difference in the color. So let me just 
stamp on a little bit more here. I actually had Moana on last night. I was flipping through the channels. Maybe that's what inspired this. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so let me give this. Oh, yeah. So you can see that the darker part here, and it all kind of works together. It kind of, um, you know, all kind of blends together on this. Okay, I'm going to shut these before I get my fingers in it. <laughs> And move that far away. Okay, so now I'm going to take this off of my Stamparatus and move that right out of the way. And now I've got this here. So you can see this layer here, and this or the or the gap here. And this gap is because I'm using cardstock. So cardstock actually has um, thickness to it, so it doesn't allow the stamp to go all the way right down. But don't you worry, because we're actually going to cover that up. So I have chosen to use Pacific Point the color I said I never use to layer my um, card together. So now I had the what I made the temporary adhesive by using the sleeve of my <laughs> of my shirt. Now I'm going to go in and add some more regular adhesive once again. So it just doesn't have to be the Stampin' um, Seal Plus. The Stampin' Seal is fine or any, any adhesive that you have that you like to use. It's not um, super duper is fine for this. Hello Chris! Welcome. Okay, so I grew up just thinking because Chris is on here, Maureen's on here. There's a number of people that are on here that are from Rhode Island. I grew up in Rhode Island, the ocean state, so I had to have this stamp set right away. I love this stamp set. Okay, so I put the, um, this is just a quarter of an inch bigger, so this is three and a quarter by, uh, uh, three and three quarters by two and three quarters. And then I'm going to add it. Do I want it flat? I think I want it flat. Um, I'll show you some samples of, of it not flat, but I think I'm going to do this on here flat. So now this gap that was here is now going to be covered up by this layer that's here. So that's the beauty of this is that it's going to look like it just continues. Like so. So now you get this continuous wave. You don't see that gap any longer because you've put this, this layer behind it. That works perfectly for it. All right, and then I'm going to put it right on um, another layer of this. So this is going to be um, four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm going to put that down just like that. Okay, now how about we add some seagulls? Actually, I'm going to add some words in a minute, so let's hold off on the seagulls. I will add this right here. So the pelican and the, okay, what do you call these things? They're in the water. Docks? Piers. Piers? Is this the pier? Or is this a thing on the pier? I'm not sure. Let me know if you know what you call this thing. I'm going to do, I'm going to, um, Color this using my blends. You certainly could use a variety. Pylons. Thank you, Melanie. You call these pylons. A pelican on a pylon. That's fun. Um, thanks, Melanie. So I'm using my blends, but you certainly could use, there's a variety of different ways to color this. You certainly could use your pencils. You could use um, regular markers. You could use... Um, your ink pad, blender pen. There's all sorts of different ways. So whatever you like. But I'm a real big fan of these um, blends. So that's what I'm using. And this happens to be light crumb cake that I have chosen. Um, the reason I like the blend so much is that you don't get any lines. And I kind of like that. So it looks like you colored it in a way that that looks really neat. Um, I'm actually not using the blend ability here because I'm not, um, I'm not really making a darker part to this and a lighter part to it. I'm letting the, um, the stamp do all the work. So let me show you here. So I've done that with my blends, but I'm just kind of assuming that this is the darker part here and I'm not worrying about it. Um, I'm not really an artist. I don't even play one on TV. So, um, yeah. 
So I, I don't worry about that. But if you are an artist, or it matters to you, then you go for it and you make, you blend it in the way that you need to. Okay, so I don't, <laughs> as much as I love the ocean and um, needed to have the stamp set, I don't actually know all that much what pelicans look like. So oh, let me hold on to that for one second. I'm pretty sure that they're gray or maybe brownish. So that's what I'm making my little guy. And I'm using so, so saffron, the light so saffron, and putting just a little bit on his noggin and a little bit on his bill and a little bit on his feet. Then I'm going to go in with my color lifter, which is this white one here. And I'm going to take a little off his noggin just so it kind of fades there and a little bit off of his belly. And the thing with the, um, with the color lifter is it takes a little while to work. So you can see that his, his head now is a little bit softer looking um, than it was initially. But uh, when you use the color lifter, just use it and then kind of let it be for a little bit and it will, it will do its thing. Okay, so this guy is going to go right over here. He's going to be on some dimensionals. So let me put these on. And I'll use a baby dimensional for, actually, maybe I can use a big one here. No, I can't. <laughs> I kind of like hoard my baby dimensionals, like I only use them when I have to. Um, I'm always, I'm, I'm always worried that I'm going to need them and I, I'm not going to have them. Hello, Ellen. My friend Ellen is here. Ellen is also from Rhode Island, also an Ocean State girl. Okay, so... There we go. So that sticks up a little bit. I'm happy with that. That's perfect. Okay, so this card, I was thinking, has more of a kind of a Caribbean look to it because it's kind of that color ocean as opposed to the color ocean that we have in Rhode Island, <laughs> which is not so Tahitian-y. So um, for this card, I actually wanted to make this card be kind of a, um, like a vacation type of card. So I was going to use heck yeah on this, like, like it's vacation week. So heck yeah comes from, oh, do I already have it in here? Yes, I do. Okay, so I already, I already took that out. So this um, stamp set is called Happy, Happy and Heartfelt. Hello, Marie. Welcome. Okay, this is called Happy and Heartfelt, and this is from the mini catalog, which is still going on. So this should still be available. What I love about that, I love this. I love you. I think that is adorable. But heck yeah, really, was the whole reason I wanted this thing. Because what a great phrase. Heck yeah. We have to celebrate this. Could be anything. Could be Friday. <laughs> so... So, heck yeah, we have to celebrate. There's also Happy Mom Day, Happy Dad Day, a bunch of other great things. And I'll show you. I've used one on a different card as well. But um, I just really like it. And I love the font on this. So, this is not carrying over into the new catalog. So, if you want it, you need to grab it from the mini catalog at this time. All right. So, I'm going to use heck yeah. And I think I'm going to do it in the Tahitian Tide. I want to do the lightest color that I can do with this. So, let's hope I don't mess it up because because I already put the whole card together. Probably should have done this layer prior to that, but okay, heck yeah, it worked. Okay. Perfect. Let's close that up. Now I can add my little baby seagulls. So the stamp set comes with this stamp of a seagull as well as the um seagull um die cutouts but I'm just going to use this here and I am going to make them I'm going to put one kind of dark by dark I mean smoky slate and then I'm going to stamp off what I call decaf and do a decaf seagull and then I'm going to put one up here like he's flying right off the page and I want to put him at a different angle I think but we'll make it did I make him decaf yeah we'll decaf him as well La. Okay, so seagulls, seagulls everywhere. Oh, love it. I can't wait for the beach. Um, if you don't live in New England, it's a long time before our beaches are warm. 
Okay, so that's perfect. Now I am just going to plop that right on my card. Um, I think I'm going to use regular adhesive, but you could use dimensionals to pop it up if, if that floats your boat, floats your pylon. <laughs> okay, so this um, I cut uh, hot dog fashion, so the long and skinny way. This is just um, thick white paper. So I um, scored it at five and a half and then cut it at four and a quarter the long way. I know that for some people this is a problem. Some people do not like their cards to open like books. Um, so if that is you, then don't do it this way. <laughs> Whatever way you like works. But I kind of like it opening like that. Okay, so I was thinking about putting heck yeah we need to celebrate this. So I'm going to put these words on the inside. Again, probably, not probably, definitely should have stamped them prior to um, putting the card together. But I didn't. So let's make sure this works. If I were to mess up, I would just add a layer on top of this and pretend I planned it that way. Perfect. It worked. Okay, so this is what I'm calling my um, kind of tropical card. Let me get all of my, i um, just going to do a real quick clean here to get my stamps out of the way because I do not want any more ink on anything else I have. Get that right out of the way. All right, there we go. So there it is. Heck yeah, we have to celebrate this. I have 24 more days of school, um, and I think that this is the card I'm going to give to all my coworkers. <laughs> oh, I love my job, but sometimes it's nice to have some time off, right? So, okay. So this is my kind of tropical version of this, but let me show you some alternatives to this. All right. Um, let's see. So this one here, I actually use the... Um, Starry Sky, well, I put notes inside. I used Starry Sky and Pacific Point together. Um, and that was really kind of cool because it's almost got this, I don't know, like a real deep blue purpley color along with the um, Pacific Point. So you can see the difference in these two. And for this one, I added a cloud. I just stuck a cloud up there. So there's no words on the front of this card, just the cloud up there. Okay, the next one uses the pelican and the pylons um, along with the um, uh, uh, label. And I put happy birthday on there. And this one is Pacific Point and Navy with a gray background. To me, it kind of has a, you know, more masculine feel maybe to it. Okay, so this one, I wanted an angry ocean. <laughs> so for this one, um, I actually use the same uh, Navy and Pacific Point, so the same colors as this one here. But what I did, you can see the difference between these two. What I did was um, I used my Pacific Point first, and then I added the Navy the same way I just showed you um, with the card we just made. But then I spritzed the stamp before I actually closed it in the Stamparatus, before I closed it. I uh, spritzed it with um, rubbing alcohol, and that gave this really kind of runny look to it. So it's got a very different look than this kind of clean wave here. That's what that looks like. And then I used the seagulls that came in the, um, in the dies along with the clouds that came in the dies for this one. So that's that look. And then this one, I really wanted a really angry ocean, just kind of really... I don't know. There are times in your life that um, you, you feel like you're at an angry ocean, right? Um, and I thought the words, you matter to me, would go nicely on that. Um, for someone that's going through a hard time, it just seemed like it was a hard time kind of a card. Um, but, but to let someone know how important you are to them. So that is actually done with Starry Sky. So the purpley, the new kind of deepish purpley bluish color along with smoky slate so those are the colors that I have in that so a really different kind of look with that one all right now those are all basically the same card the same design that we did tonight but I do have some others to um, to show you and they and they use different things and some of these are no longer available but you may still own them so 
let me pull these out here. Um, over celebration, we had um, some different paper, and it was called um, Simply Marvelous, I believe, was the name of the paper, and that's what this paper is. So I um, stamped the image right on this paper, and then I used a cutout, these, um, one of these two wave cutouts on here. I used white, and I used um, Wink of Stella on that, so it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. So that's that kind of look, kind of a stormy looking sky. This one here, um, I think it's straight out navy. Pretty sure it's straight out navy, but it was spritzed. You can tell it was spritzed because it's got more, um, the ones that are not spritzed, if I can bring in one that is not spritzed, you can see there's more white space here. These kind of, it's just, it's just a little bit messier, if you will, in this area here. That's how you can tell it was spritzed. And then these were um, the gems that we originally were able to get um, when we when this was offered as a specialty bundle. So those gems are no longer available, but I'm sure you have gems that you could add. You can also use um, clear rhinestones and use your blends to um, to color your uh, to color your rhinestones and you could have something very similar to this. All right, this one here was some of the specialty paper literally just torn, so it kind of looks like waves coming into the beach with a little bit of foam. Um, and then I just followed it up with doing that on the inside. If you know me, you know I don't really like to write in cards. I like to make them, but I don't like to write in them. So the more I can fill in on the inside, the better for me. <laughs> All right, this fancy one here actually used some of the blue foil paper that we had. So if you have that blue foil paper, you certainly can use it. That is no longer available to purchase, but you might you might have taken advantage of the of the deal at the beginning when it was available. And then this cutout here, um, the wave on top, is the um, uh, 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 balmy blue. That's balmy blue, and I just had embossed the white wave behind it. Um, this was a very, very simple card, you, again, using some of the um, specialty paper that is no longer available, but you might have some other specialty paper that works, or you might own that, so that's just another fun one. You are so totally awesome. This is another one I got as a swap, and this uses some of that um, specialty paper as well, as well as the um, foil paper. This one here, just I wanted to give it a really different look, so it's much more, um, it's much more, it's very um, coastal cabana-ish. <laughs> I had to look what I used. And then this I just cut out in the white, and then I used some, um, I just used my aqua painter to kind of um, paint on some color and some aqua, um, some aqua, some wink of Stella to that. So let me see if I can show you what sort of what that looks like there. So it this actually is a white layer, but has some color on it along with some Wink of Stella. So if you don't have specialty paper, you can kind of mess around with your own um, paper and use Wink of Stella and you kind of can get that look. And then I gave it some scary looking clouds in the background. All right, this one um, was one that a club, my club members did last month. So um, it's kind of, you know, a nighttime look, in my opinion. Um, of the ocean with the moon. And then finally, I have one really cool card to show you. Jody, I think she's still on here, but this was a card that Jody did as a swap this month. She's a friend of mine and, and did a swap with me. And what she did was she took these pylons. This was not quick, <laughs> is my guess. But she took the pylons. They actually come with the... Um, let me see if I can show you. They come with the pelican right on top. So in order to get this look, you kind of have to um, just color in just the bottom and not the bird. And then line it up numerous times to get this kind of like a big pier of pylons um, looking like that. So that was it's a really cool card. And again, she used that same um, specialty paper and the, and the um, gems that were available last month. And then this card, what I love about this card is you have to write hardly anything because there's only that much room to write. So thank you for sharing that with me, Jody. I appreciate it. All right, so that is it for tonight. Kind of quick, but wanted to um, share with you here. I'm going to turn you around. Whoops, that's my ceiling. 
And that's my face. Um, I wanted to share with you this stamp set. It is available in the annual catalog. The bundle is $51 and it's called, actually I don't know what it's called. I think it's called Waves, Waves of Inspiration is the name of, I don't even know what page it's on. Hang on, hang on, sorry. Um, Waves of Inspiration is the stamp set. It's on page 101. It's even close to where I was looking. And the bundle itself is called Waves of Inspiration Bundle. I thought it was called Waves of the Ocean. I don't know why I thought that. Maybe that's the name of the dies. Doesn't matter. Does it matter? Doesn't matter. Um, I would definitely, if you're going to get it, I would definitely get the bundle together. Um, just Waves dies. I don't know why I was calling it Waves of the Ocean. I, may, I make up my names for the stamp sets all the time. In any case, um, a lot you can do with it. You can make it a very um, masculine card if you want to. It's obviously a very outdoorsy card. You can use it for summer, any time of year, really. It's a fantastic set, even if you don't come from Rhode Island. So, if you are interested in getting this set, please, um, if, if you don't have a demonstrator, um, get in touch with me. But if you do have a demonstrator, get in touch with her, and she absolutely will take care of you and help you out with this set. All right, if you have any questions, just leave them below, and I will definitely um, answer them. And um, I think that's it. All right, guys, have a great week, and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.